this is the you know I just really wanted to play this game again and what happened was I was like oh, I better stream it though I don't want to leave any parts out so I'm just off screen for a minute but it's Christmas Eve and I had an itching to play this and I was like well I better stream it whether I'm drunk or not but I am drunk I'm getting there and I'm about to eat enough an edible some sour fish this is called big toes all right let's do it Well, that sucked. I don't know if you could even, I don't know if you could even hear me then, but okay, I didn't have my headset set up. But what I said was, come on, pick up, pick up. Just ate some edibles. Drunk tonight. It's Christmas Eve. Alex. What I want to say is, Merry Christmas and cheers. This way. So I only called this stream 1.5 because I'm drunk. Wow. It may not be a full one, so. Been a while since I was up here. But I didn't want you guys to miss any. I didn't want to have an incomplete. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Man, outside of my jurisdiction. Did taste good. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his minor in training. <laughs> that was back before mining men Merry blowing Christmas. the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? <laughs> I should have said something earlier I didn't I mean when he said he was going to the old mine Alex it's fine you couldn't have known it's not your fault yeah still though thank you guys subscribe I'm gonna please. go take a look around let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan sure oh well I can do that how was Ethan playing Sorry. I had to get some festive drinks. Merry Christmas. Planning to get into the mine. All right. Yeah, how was it? Nope. 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 Super nope. Hard to run, of course. Remember. Will we though? Welcome to Jay's side quest, everybody. Part 1.5. Go. Right now we're searching for Ethan. He came up to the mine. 
Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. So how do I open the game? Just let me look. Doesn't let me open it. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. You don't realize until you're up close. But mining equipment is super mer- The real monster here is underage drinking. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Imagine being trapped down there. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. So it's all Chronicles. Yeah, Chronicles. that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, trying to promote basically stuff, bought Jed the Black Lantern. Here we are. Huh. Oh, yeah. Same logo. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? He did. Guaranteed. Read this though. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion. Okay. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should notice anything? I do. No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building, if we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay, Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. All right. Sorry. I think I'm looking for something closer to that. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I guess there might be. I definitely think there is. Give me a hand. Okay. 
You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Have I got some good news for you? <laughs> oh yeah, these look safe. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Building, please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Don't collapse, please. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? wasn't in the comic. I have to explore everywhere, guys. I have to explore everywhere. Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Dead crow? Just a dead crow hanging out? Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. So much stuff just left behind. This thing has seen better days. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. I know he already went upstairs. I'm just doing all these things because I, I want everything in this game. I want every trophy. If Ethan didn't get out through the door, how did he get out? Cool. The only way to do that is to look at everything. So I've done that here. Let's go upstairs. Where he actually went. I've already moved the debris out of the way. We passed caution like an hour ago. Okay, I'll stay out. But not because you told me it wasn't in the comic. Okay, 
Where does Thanor go next in the comic? Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Just gotta use this conveyor belt. Looks like the dragon that he climbed, like the scales, the bones. All right, I'm trying to break up something while playing. That's why this is a 1.5, guys. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt. Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Damn. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yeah. I'm no good to you with broken ankles, Ethan. The silo. We're getting close. Heads up! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? The wonders never cease. Let's do this. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, that's very Troy and Abed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You can't do that. Can't do that. Community did that. They did it best. You know, I just tried to rewatch Community. I watched the first season. That's it. That's all you can get through. The second season is even garbage. Like fuck. Like it's just horrible. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. My brother. He's Where to next, Alex? He's a thief and a trespasser. I just gotta get up in the silo and then I can see. So that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go! We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 He definitely went down there. Ethan? You okay? 
Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Fuck, Ryan's gonna die, and I'm gonna be like heartbroken because I don't go from don't. No, don't. No, 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 no. His fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Oh shit. Shit. <laughs> you know what that means, you tiny bitch. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? She sure is. Just let her go before she changes her mind. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Honestly? No. That feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. Great. As long as you keep as doing long that, as you're breathing, everything's gonna be fine. You have to do everything. Doesn't matter how scary you are. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum. He's the feed die. rope, your direction. I feel like the brother's Follow? gonna die. So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Do I not have to do this? She's just gonna do it. Hang on, Ethan. Oh no. I'm coming. Alex. Go back. You'll get hurt. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Oh, 
Oh my god. What's happening? It's like I'm seeing the world through his eyes. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's tempting me. I'm not just feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. I'm bored and wouldn't be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... Shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't right. be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. It looks real. It's freaky. I used to scream into a sewer and hey. a sewer when I was a kid. Like one of those hey, I see ones. it too, Ethan. Not the ground. Monster? Ones, I see it too. Creek, you turn right and you see the And I'm just as scared as you are. the rebar. And you would scream, Ethan. hello. And you get We're safe. Go, hello, hello. You know why? We used to say it was the Ninja Turtles. It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Knife Warden. Smart. I thought that was just a story. It's not. It's really How not. some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Head it back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. I'll be back.
All right. One step at a time. Here we go. Alex? Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. You should take One step steps. at a time. Okay. okay. Yes. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Shit. should say something. Feeling Ethan's not Ethan, but my brother Gabe is That's going it. down. Come on. There you go. I got you. Perfect. That's why they made him so perfect. So that when he dies, it's like you feel very sad. Only sadness. Fuck. Brutal. But I knew it. I called it. I fucking called it. Even me knowing that was going to happen makes me sad still.
All right, that was the end of the chapter. Cool. See, this is where we would wait another three months, you know, for the next one, like last time. But they release they release these all as one. But Life is Strange one and two were episodic, and you had to wait. So very cool. I'm not big on speeches. He's not big on speeches. Fuck. And I've always uh, believed that the role of a bartender is to shut the up and I listen. fucking called it, though. They don't make characters that perfect. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. Without that happening. I never issued a speeding Merry ticket Christmas. Cheers. to someone on a bicycle before. Until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. That's pretty specific, Ducky. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time, he cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. Oh, actually. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I'm going back. I wasn't there. I'm going to cuss I didn't want to lie there. I'm so. not big on speeches. 
we're going to start this over. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever <laughs> known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. <coughs> Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. I knew it. And then he said, I know. That's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. 
Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... What are you trying to do, buddy? I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Hmm. What a weird spot for a save stream. A load, though. That is weird. <coughs> Why not you? That's it. Wake's over. Everyone, out! <laughs> Some way. <laughs> I apologize. Excuse me. Alex? This joint really fucked me up, but then the edibles did too. And... Hey. Fuck those guys. I've had a lot of drinks. Yeah. I've had a lot of drinks. Are you okay? For now. We'll see how long that lasts. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. You play guitar? Um. Yeah, well, sorta. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. 
can't. What? He actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Steph is so upset. Yeah, I'm trying. Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! <coughs> Overpowered blue meteor? Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. These auras around the apartment should tell me what's going on. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. You probably do. But I'll be quickly use the bathroom. 
Well, I'll be back. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's fun. Alright, I'm back, bitches. I have enough to go talk to her now. She said, so let me help her. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Quick match. Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. I had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. I know. I don't know why I would offer that, actually, at this time. First to five points, if you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. I'm killing this. How, uh, you suck. how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Wow. That's 
five. Five nothing, I just won. I should have let points. her win. That's game. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. That was horrible. I mean, I that obviously that. wasn't my best. No. I get it. And this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Oh. The greatest Northwest fan of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. time <laughs> okay whoa, whoa, wait let's get serious one more game winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion mm, i don't know come on you know gabe would be all about his playing like this well then it's settled all right one last game <laughs> this is it for all the marbles so many marbles Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Oh, come on. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I Oh, come on. Who's what? Oh. What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it.
I guess we're getting drunk together, baby. So, what are you gonna do now? <sighs> we should drink that. Mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Cool. She should head back to work. She's such a cool chick, though. Steph at the, uh, the radio Bye. DJ. Bye. Bye. You need to smile more. Get cooler glasses. Thicker frames. Look, I know what I'm talking about. I have super fashion fucking... Um... Senses. It's so cool. Oh, senses. Gabe made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Clean the clothes. See? I can be a person. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Clean your dishes, lady. It's a start. Start. Okay, that did make me feel a little better. It's true. Jordan Peterson's 12 rules. Just clean your place. Beautiful windows. Are those Anderson windows? So long, <coughs> depression food. If you're looking for a home window replacement or patio doors, clean home, clean mine. If you're in Alaska and you're looking for even front door and patio doors, give me a shout as well. Hit me up in my DMs. JR Comedy. Cape really meant the world to Steph. Yeah, I know. At least I got to have a few good moments. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Actually, I thought this was going to be a shit show because I'm all messed up on everything. Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2021. It's the year, right? I don't know anymore. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. <laughs> Funny. The 
This is what I love about life. Is I thought this was going to be the music. one. Finally, despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. <coughs> I believed you completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone. This is so beautiful. Just left over just because it's in front of me. I'm like, oh, hey, let me break that up. My donair is here from DoorDash. It just reminds me of the first two. It's great. It's very musical. Like you can chill and listen to full songs while they have full animated motions while you're chilling. Like you can get up whatever you want, but the point is they finish the whole thing, like the whole scene. You can sit there. You can play guitar for the whole cover of a song and not just move on. Like yeah, exactly. You can get up whenever you want. The song is, it, the game from season one, like from the first one, six, seven years ago, it's always been very music based. Like, the music is always so very important. It's such a big part of the story. And I'm glad they just carried that over. Even though it's not episodic. It is episodic, but yeah. Great, man. Yeah, I don't know, if you're into that stuff, choice-based games.
memories that's where the last time me and Gabe hung out no he's gone uh, you know what something tells me though he's not Gabe dead Gabe was such a dad he's not dead Gabe really loved this place I never saw a body I never buried anybody this thing's been up here a while isn't that Steph's old band I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. No birds today. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? It's actually told, turned into a full stream, so I'm happy about that. I just, after part one, I played a bit of game in the NHL with my boys in Ontario. We celebrate Christmas and my best friends, but I was like, man, I really want to play this game, but do I have the energy to stream it? <clears throat> I did. I don't want to go upstairs. Can I go downstairs? Yeah, that's where I need to go. I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow night. I'd love to have you there. No pressure, Kate. Jed. Let me know if you need any Thanks, groceries. Jed. Damn. And he said the apartment's fine if I ever need it. Damn. Yeah, thanks, Jed. Jed's a solid dude. Jed's a very solid dude.
this place out. <clears throat> oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Too late. I'm up and out, Jed. You're solid, dude. My brother's back. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. I'm loving the smell of my new soap. That's Your brother's him. wake. And okay, you both deserve you better than listening to a bunch of fools then. squabble. I got a new beard balm today from Amazon. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. Yeah, but... I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. No, I won't. I know. He's a piece of... He's something. Thanks for looking out for me, but... What else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But... If you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte dispensary. wants to see you. Are we talking marijuana? And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Yo, I think Jed is grooming me. <laughs> I, this is your I'm home all now. for it. I'm all for, for it. As long as you'd like. Hit me up, baby. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. Ted, are you going to pull out your. Thank you. Shlama lama ding no. Give him hell. <laughs> and there's the dick pic. That's how quick he sent it. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Maybe I'll go right to chapter three and then we'll uh that's where I'll stop this one. I'm up for it right now. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. R M and T B. I wonder who they were. Happy together. That's my late yeah, wife in that do. photo. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. I guess nobody needed this. Forecast called for rain, but the skies have been clear. 
Is that Jed without his beard? I should put something here. It's the least I can do. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. Gabe Chen, smooth criminal. I wish we'd had more time. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. Would have been fun to let Gabe kick my ass at pool. Damn, Ducky. Why do I feel like this is a challenge? I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan... This town has a long memory. Guess it's nice to know that Gabe won't be forgotten. That's why I can make a sad face. There's a dart in the bear's fucking nose. You can see that in the background? That's more like it. <clears throat> we had courage and devotion that night, too. Wasn't enough, I guess. Well, I want to find something for there, actually. Find up here to add to Gabe's memory. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna find something. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. I wonder how she's really holding up. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. Gabe used to swat the controller out of my hands if he thought I was going to- Gabe really meant the world to Steph. Not much to toast at the moment. Okay, that did make me feel a little better. Well, where am I supposed to find this for you? Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Even further up this? Oh. Why did it cut to that? Didn't I hit that? Sculpture? I'm pretty sure I did. I gotta find something. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. I'll toss those soon, I swear. Gabe really loved this place. Oh. Uh, so where's the thing I have to get?
Hmm. I don't know what the item is. Oh. What do you guys think? Can someone help me? Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Maybe I should put this downstairs. Yeah, there you go. You're coming downstairs. Yeah. See, I figured it out, guys. I didn't need your help at all. But thanks for nothing. You didn't help me at all. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. Always knew how to get me to. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. 
dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. Mac Loudon, the guy that showed up at Gabe's place throwing punches, the safety manager on duty that night, is lying to you. That's my statement. I know you're angry, Alex. I should have done that. Reload last checkpoint. Yeah, I'm looking for evidence still. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Dispensary, see, I want to go by the dispensary. I feel sick. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Was it on the news? I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. No one's been fired. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. That's this town question. I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. Yeah, I didn't see Gabe died, so I'm not 100% yet. Everything feels so strange now Under this song town sky I wonder if there's still meaning All the things I'm feeling Should I see?
Park looks fun to explore. I'm about to explore that. You know what? I'm gonna call it. Thanks, everybody. I'm just gonna stop broadcast. I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, we're gonna play some more tomorrow night or Sunday, either one. But part two or two point five, whatever. Love you guys. Subscribe. Have a great weekend, America.